along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Welcome to B-Town here in historic Boston, Massachusetts. The Stanley Cup playoffs, Ray, I guess you can say, enough said. Everybody knows they're four wins away from being able to hoist the Stanley Cup. If they were a kid, they did it in the driveway or they did it on their EA game at home. Now they get a chance to do it for real. Two teams looking star for a win. And we are set to go. It's been an awesome six weeks, and here we go. The moment of truth. Game one, Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Slides the pass over to Schwartz. Strong defensive effort. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Bergeron's won it in their own end. Pasternak's got the puck along the wing. Shot right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Moves it quickly over to Petrangelo. And now he moves it to Tarasenko. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. St. Louis has it in the open ice. The Blues played along the wing. Here he is in front. Can't connect. Tries to feed it over to Pasternak. Here's a short pass to Krejci. Denies him. He got all of it. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gets it over to Perron. Here's an odd man rush. Just wide. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Let's it fly. Oh, you would have had that, Ferraro. Not really. I mean, I... Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. The Blues are getting penalized for slashing. If you're gonna slash, you better not make it so obvious. I mean, that's a penalty every time. The Bruins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. This has been a stifling game, no goals yet. But now this power play has an offer. Oh, there's gonna be a penalty on this play here, James. Too many bodies in the way. He was locked in there. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. And it's gonna be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice, you get called all the time. Boston's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Too many times on a long five on three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least, shoot it, and make the penalty killers react. They've got numbers, it's a two on one. St. Louis on the attack. Quick pass to Fulk. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Trying to gain a step, passes it across. With the pass, he scores! Whoa! it over, denies him on the breakaway. 
Motion to O'Reilly. Let's it fly. Stopped by the goaltender. Rask's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name in I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. And this is a chance we saw just moments ago. The odd man break puts the goaltender on alert. He has to follow the puck, find the pass, and he makes the stop. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. You know when you're looking for a buddy in a crowded train station? Well, now you got to find a little puck through the bodies there. Good luck to you. Found it. St. Louis has it near the wall. Moves it to O'Reilly. Takes a shot. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. I'd like to look at that one more time. Sometimes you think you've got room, but the ice closes off. That's a big hit there. And he's got to get up slowly. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Boston's ahead, 1-0. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Richie. Across the line. Takes a shot. That goes wide. Taken along the wall by McAvoy. Puts the puck on net. No room for that one to get through. Quick feed to Tarasenko. Here's a chance. The Blues played along the boards. Misses the net. Not going to be happy with this. He's got the opportunity to score. Doesn't register a shot on goal. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Nice pass. Here they come on the attack. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Getting into the later stages of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Great defensive stick work on the play. Grabbed along the boards by Krug. Centering pass! Scores! His second of the game! Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. The Bruins had an insurance marker to make it 2-0 here in the first. They pile that second one on top of the earlier marker, James. I like the way that they've not backed off at all. Across the line and on the attack. Goes right to the crease. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Picked up along the boards by Nebraska. Wrist shot from the slot. Big save. The Blues moving ahead. Steen's got the puck. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. The Blues gain control of it. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Floats the saucer pass. The Bruins take it across the blue line. All alone. Here he is in close. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Well, this one's so far living up to the hype as the first period comes to an end. Boston's offense comes to life here early in this one. A couple of goals here in the opening frame. They lead it 2-0. Automobile-related pollution is on the increase worldwide. Do your part in the public transit to and from the game. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Bergeron's won it. Taken by McAvoy. Moves into the slot. He scores! Big goal from David Pasternak! Bad 
luck for the goalie, great luck for the shooter here. This is stopped about 90%. Hey, you got to stop 100% of it because now it's in the cage. The Bruins make their way back to center ice where they've been checking the boxes at both ends of the ice here. They're toying with them tonight. Everything they do is the right thing. Their opponents have no answer. St. Louis is on the attack, and he regains control of the puck. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Pass back to the point. Blocker save! Bennington's played poorly. The forwards and defensemen have played poorly. You can wrap a bowl around this one, James, and package it up. That's a bad night. Dishes it to Marchand. Gains the zone on the left wing. In close! Scores! This is unbelievable! It's turning into a lot for four straight goals for them as they take total control of this game. Once you get the goalie down, you better not give him another chance. The shooter sticks this right up into the top of the net. Perfect goal. The Bruins are really starting to turn this thing on in a second. They seem a half a step quicker all over the ice. That adds up into a lead that they can extend. Dishes it to O'Reilly. Moves the puck along the half wall. Levels him with the hit. Makes the save. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Great hit on the play. Puck picked up by Perron. And now it's grabbed by Krejci. Back at the point, they set it up. Grips it. Oh. Rips it. Scores. You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time, it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. St. Louis finally has something to build on here in the second, but they haven't been good enough tonight. No, they've been terrible. Their coach hasn't been happy at all. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And it's a quick pass to Richie. A great read on the play. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Bowmeister's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Rarely is a slashing penalty considered a good penalty to take. Power play unit going back to work. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. St. Louis is across the blue line. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Taken by Gunnarsson. Let's it go! Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! Bang, bang, two goals and right around a minute 40. Buckle up, everybody, we're not done yet. Oh, this shot beats him clean here, but he doesn't see it. I think he's got to work a little harder. There's only one person in front of the net. He shouldn't be screened so completely. St. Louis is still trailing by two, but they've got a little bit of momentum now. Now they got to build on it. To get the one goal, James, great. But now you've got a long way to go. Keep piling the bricks on the wall. Passes the puck over to Pareko. Bozak's got it against the boards. Marchand's taking it from his own end. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Slides it over with pace to DeBrusque. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. His reflexes on display tonight. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Centered out in front. Knocked away. 
Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. St. Louis has possession of it now. Moves the puck. Oh, boy, here comes a three-on-one. He scores! Oh, what a finish! It sets the water bottle flying. A goal is a goal, but when the bottle pops, you go back to the bench feeling pretty good about yourself. It's popping bottles tonight! Excellent puck movement on the odd man rush. They catch them short, and they make them pay. The Bruins are on fire tonight here in the second. Domination right from the very beginning of the game. This is now an absolute landslide for them. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Takes it to the front. Scores! Hey, you just stop thinking about the first goal. Now you got another. That's 30 seconds apart. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. That's a good shot. He zips it by the goaltender, but he works himself into a clean area on the ice to shoot this from the high slot. Boston's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. The Bruins win it. Puck grabbed by McAvoy. Right in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it quickly over to Gunnarsson. St. Louis has the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Tarasenko. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Boston's had excellent foot and stick positioning tonight. Their bodies are in the right place, their sticks are in the right place, and they intercept another pass. And that one's broken up, great block there. Feeds the puck across to Shen. Here's the pass, scores! What a shot! waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. St. Louis is still down and out in this one, but there is some positives here now. Yeah, they're down and out, but I guess they're not down and all the way out. That's Ooh, the final positive. buzzer hasn't gone That's yet, That's the right? good yeah. news. Quick pass to Coyle. Misses a golden opportunity there. And that one stopped. Here's a short pass to Sanford. St. Louis plays it along the boards. The Bruins have it from their own end. Up along the wing. Puts it in deep. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Play whistle dead because of an offside. The Bruins are in the lead, and now they seem intent on just wearing their opponent down. They've had by far the most physical period. Boston's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. The Bruins want to continue this domination into the second intermission. It's been a great first half. Let's it fly, and there's the save. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Takes the feed, takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Moves it to Coyle. Carries it across the line. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Coyle. And he denied that opportunity. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. On the attack along the boards, the Bruins take possession in the defensive end. to Pareko. Handles the puck. Let's it go for the back end. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our team player awards are available in the club course in the lower seating level. 3rd period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski, and we are ready to get this third period going. Well, let's see what this third period can offer at what has been a score fest thus far. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? St. Louis has to continue playing in the same form that they have for much of the first 40 minutes. Have the puck a lot, forecheck well, but somebody find a way to score. Made the stop on that play. Picked up along the wall by Tarasenko. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Pasternak. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass over to O'Reilly. Pokes it away in his own end. Answered the call on that play. McAvoy's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the pass. Receives the pass. The Blues pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. The Bruins have it against the wall. Quick pass to Krejci. No one home on that play. The Blues look to start the transition game. The Bruins go to work on offense. Slides the puck down low. And now he angles it across to McAvoy. Let's it go. Takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Boston's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Taken along the wall by Carlo. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Can't get a hold of that pass. Icing is the call here, and those winded bodies are going to be out there for an extended period here now. Yeah, they can't get a change in, and so you go back, you kind of meander your way back as long as you can to kill time and get a little breath. Boston's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Blues win the draw. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. Loses his balance on the play. Puck picked up by Thomas. And loses possession after a solid hit. Battling for it along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Moving into the attacking zone. Nice poke check. And he gains the zone here. There's, he let that one, and we got a fight. It doesn't even have to be a hard shot. It can be a muffin, but everybody is gonna defend the goalie when you shoot the puck that late after a whistle. he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. It looked even until it wasn't and the road team gets a clear decision here. Both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Cuts into the paint! The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And that one's broken up. Boston's across the blue line. Here he is, shot right in front. Stick saved by Bennington. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Boston's in transition. Taken by Corrali. Here's a shot, denied by the goaltender. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Tarasenko. Quick shot. Oh, what a big time stop by Rask. right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Boston's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. The Bruins win the draw. Pushes it across to Marchand. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Sends a pass over. Pasternak's got it across the line. Moves it to Bergeron. 
stop that one. Handles the puck at the point. Quick feed to Marchand. Turn that chance aside. The Blues in transition at center. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Whistle blows and we've got a penalty shot. Once the offensive player clears his way in, now the panic sets in for the defender. He hooks him and there'll be a rightly called penalty shot. Here he goes on the penalty shot. He scores! That's three of the night! What an unbelievable night. It's at home, it's exciting. Everybody is into it. That's an outstanding game for him. The Bruins are in cruise control here, but they're showing no signs of letting up. No, the lesson began about two hours ago, and it's not class out yet. They've got numbers. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Into the attack. He's got a step. Denies him. Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Under a minute to go in the third. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Bennington's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. The Bruins are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. The Blues win it. Puck scooped up by Petrangelo. And that one's turned away. Boston's got it in their own zone. And look at this, a three on one. Denied by the goaltender. Boston's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. The Bruins win the draw. Back to the blue line. Musa quickly over to Gunnarsson. Can't find his man. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. That's kicked away with the pad by Bennington. The centermen glide into position. Start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Bruins ready to go on the attack. Grabbed along the board by McAvoy. Quick pass to Marchand. Takes that pass back at the point. That opportunity is rejected. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Picked up along the boards by Marchand. That's all she wrote from this one. 1-0 is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season, and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead, they have it now. It's amazing how many fans stay right till the finish now where you kind of get recognized. Yeah, I think this is a good thing. The, the players go out, salute the fans, everybody feels part of it. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.